Hey guys, hope you're having a good Wednesday. I can't believe it's Wednesday already this week. It's going by fast. Um, but you're probably wondering why I am showing up on your news feed again, uh, wearing the same clothes and making pretty much the same food as I did yesterday, if you caught my video yesterday. Um, yesterday morning I was talking to you about uh, the breakfast that I was making, and today, if you didn't catch that video, what it is is rice plus coleslaw plus uh, protein. Um, I'm sauteing them all together, and it's a good post-workout meal for me according to the meal plan I'm following. Um, but today I am actually using um, a coleslaw mix that has more broccoli and more Brussels sprouts. So I had to cut those suckers up really small. <laughs> So that I didn't, um, so that my, I'm trick my mind to not think they're there, and so I don't taste them all at once because um, my taste buds really revolt against the taste of those things for some reason. I know it's probably a mindset thing, but you know, we all have to pick our battles. So I'm not coming on here because I wanted to tell you about my breakfast again. Um, I am a creature of habit, so when I find something that works for me, especially with food, I tend to. Um, Stick with that for a little while because I have to find something that tastes good. I can't eat food that doesn't taste good. Um, so the reason I'm coming on in the morning and then I'm wearing these same clothes is because um, my mind works better in the morning. It's like I'll think of things that I think are going to be helpful that I want to share with you and then as the day goes on they get all jumbled up in my mind and then by the evening time I'm like I don't, I don't even know what that was I was trying to say. It doesn't make sense anymore. So um, I've been trying to come on in the morning more when I have these, uh, the thoughts are flowing and they make sense to me. So that's why I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm getting ready to go to work and I am talking to you while I'm making my breakfast because I'm going to need to get out, out on the road here pretty soon. But um, what I wanted to talk to you all about today, um, do you use a smartphone to help you find your way someplace or do you use a GPS device in your car? Um, I don't know what I did, hey Mary, I don't know what I did without those things when I used to work home health back in the 90s um, when I was first out of nursing school because now they're like a lifesaver to me. Um, but the, the beauty of the smartphone versus my GPS device in my car, which I have one of those old GPS devices that it's a Garmin brand. Um, but I have to bring it into the house and up, plug it into the computer to update it. So it's not always as up to date as my smartphone. You know, the beauty of the smartphone these days, um, if you have one, is that periodically they push out updates and it updates your phone. And that includes like the maps and things like that. So I go to a lot of places where it's like a new neighborhood, um, you know, maybe built in the last year or so. And on my Garmin device in my car, it typically isn't as up to date. So sometimes those places I'm trying to get to, I can't find them on that device because it's not updated frequently. Um, it doesn't have the latest um, streets on there and all of that. Of course, there are times where I can't find um, the place where I'm going anywhere because it's some rural county road, doesn't have the same name, that type thing. But that's not the situation I'm referring to here. Um, so usually what I do in those situations where my thing in my car will not pull it up is I pull up my smartphone and I actually carry two phones with me. I have my personal phone and then my work phone that's provided by the company that I work for. And um, they're from two different, they're two different types of phones and they're from two different providers. Um, that's kind of a side note. But sometimes I go into some areas where one of them works and one of them doesn't. Sometimes the map on one is a little bit more up to date than the other. So I, between the three devices, I usually find where I'm gonna go, unless I'm in certain counties, there's a certain county I travel to that I'm going to today that has a dead zone area. And when I go into that area, none of my devices work. So I better know where I'm going before I get into that little dead zone because then I can't call on my phone, I can't pull up a map, I can't listen to a podcast, nothing works on any of the phones in those dead zones. Um, I better not have car trouble in those dead zones either. But my point of bringing this up is because the beauty of the smartphone, 
um, that a lot of us are, are kind of resistant to changes and technology and all that stuff is it keeps you up to date. It always has the latest information at your fingertips, which can be a bad thing in some instances, but in most instances, it's a good thing. It's keeping you up to date. The reason I'm bringing this up is because when I speak of following a workout program, a lot of times some people will be like, well, I do this certain type of exercise. I do that certain type of exercise. And um, those are great. Most of the time it's an exercise that it's like one exercise. You're not mixing things up. You have no um, method to your madness. It's just kind of like going in there and doing something for 30 minutes or an hour and hoping it works. Um, with a workout program, it is, it's a map. It's a map for you to follow. And it includes the food portion of it, which is something that's been my, my biggest challenge is figuring out what to eat. And um, for, to get results, to get sustainable weight loss, you have to include the nutrition side. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. You cannot out-eat a sedentary lifestyle or under eat or sedentary lifestyle they have to go together now I know what you're thinking when you're listening to that if you aren't on the same path as me right now is you're like oh, oh my god that there's no way I can do that I'm too busy I don't have time I don't know how that's the beauty of a workout program that you follow and um, over the last two years or so I have started following a program that is online that updates regularly, that gets um, new programs released that have the most recent science. It's like getting an update in the App Store if you have an Apple phone. You get an update in the App Store periodically and it is based on science back here that very smart people are doing, research that they're doing, to figure out what is the best way to lose weight, to nourish our bodies from the inside out, to feel our best and to live our best lives. So that is why um, I'm so passionate about the home workout system that I follow and everything that I share with you. I do show, I share like tidbits of it with you. It's just impossible for me to share it all unless um, we chat personally and um, I figure out what type of program um, along with you, figure out which one would work best for you because it's different for each person. But that is why when I talk about workout programs and home workout programs, that they make so much sense to me. And um, the pushback that I often get is I don't have the funds to purchase anything like that. It's actually super affordable compared to the money that people spend on all these weight loss gimmicks, um, gym memberships, different things like that. And I'm not knocking gym memberships. If it works for you and you have a system and you know how to follow all of that and you can put in all the nutrition, then I am all for that. But if you're one of the people like me who struggles with that, um, this takes the guesswork out of it. And that's why I talk about it so much. That's why I'm so passionate about it. It's because I needed that guesswork taken out of it. Hi, Maria. Um, so I got tired of trying to figure that out. I have enough stress in my life with everything else. So when I share things with you, it's because I'm learning it too. And I want you to kind of see a glimpse of that because this can work for anybody. It's updated on a regular basis. It's a map to follow and you don't have to worry anymore about putting it all together yourself. So I hope that makes sense. It makes total sense in my head. And then sometimes when I talk about it, I'm like, okay, I'm not getting this across very well. Um, but it's like a roadmap. It's, it's your roadmap to take the guesswork out of your life and to you know, be able to live your life and worry about the things that need to be worried about. I think that weight loss and, you know, I need to lose weight, I need to lose weight, is at the forefront of so many people's minds. But when you get a system and you put it all together, the weight will fall off and you will feel so much better from the inside out. You will live a different life if you can follow a system. So I just wanted to relay that to y'all because sometimes I think maybe I don't relay that correctly, um, but I am very passionate about living a healthy life to the best of our ability. And it, it has to start with a system like that. And you have to use the, the, the physical exercise, you have to use the nutrition. And then of course, having someone to help you be accountable is kind of like the glue that helps it stick all together. So if that is something that you want to learn more about, certainly message me or comment down below and um, I can message you because um, 
it's it's changed my life and it's changed so many people's lives that I'm working with um, and it's so much more than just me or that other person that I'm working with it's their family it's their legacy like I talked about on Monday about my mindset and why power video um, think about the ramifications the ripple effect like throwing a stone into a lake and watching the ripple going out that's what I'm talking about it's not just about one single person it's about how you live your life and how you influence others so I hope that makes sense I don't want this video to be too long and I need to enjoy this yummy food this morning let me show you what I got <clears throat> oh it's like popping out are you there okay that is my food right there so I am going to enjoy that nutritious yummy food and hopefully the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli that I chopped up really tiny don't taste very strong so I can eat it because it was super delicious yesterday even though it had broccoli in it um, so I will let y'all know how that goes but y'all comment below if you want more help with um, kind of navigating your own uh, health journey and getting yourself to a point to where you're feeling better and confident and all of that all right so y'all have a great Wednesday I'll talk to y'all soon